So she asked me what anxiety attacks are like for me, which when people ask me that, I'm not always sure how to respond because it really it just along depends. the lines of anxiety. Basically them saying that, you know, you're going to get over your anxiety one day. And, oh, my brother had worse anxiety than you, and he was fine, and, you know, one day you won't need your service dog, period. And I just, I was just like, what? Good morning, Internet friends. How are we doing today? I'm doing all right. You may hear barking. It's because Riddler and Emeril are downstairs with Sassy. They are barking at her because she's barking at them because they're trying to get her food. So, yeah, such a peaceful morning. Um, let's see, woke up at about 7, let dogs out, went back to sleep for another two hours. The dogs decided to play on top of me again and bark and be really loud. Then finally got up, got some breakfast, then went, and then I decided to watch a little bit of Pioneer Woman and some of a movie called A Million Ways to Die in the West, which is a stupid movie, but it's funny. I, I don't know why I like it so much. Apparently I really like dumb movies, <laughs> but yeah. Now I'm about to get ready to go meet my parents and my brother. We're going to be eating at Longhorn for lunch today. Woohoo! So, I have to meet them at 12, and it's 11 now, so I need to get ready, so. Good morning, guys, and I'll check back in with you later. Hey, guys! There's the puppers! <sighs> Sassy and Amarelle and Riddler. And you may be asking why the lights are off. I don't know if you can see that very well, but my eyes are dilated. And what's going to be fun is one of them dilated before the other one. I thought I heard pee. And so it'll take a while for both of them to readjust. So yay! So right now, because my eyes are dilated, light hurts. So I still have my lights off right now. But on the upside, I've got the natural light of the window. You're playing with your lettuce. I keep thinking everything he does is pee and it's not. Riddler, what are you doing? Riddler, you can go up. Okay, so how the day has been, because I haven't really caught you guys up. I was planning to, and then I just didn't. So I met with my parents, my brother, my grandparents, and my mom's friend, Miss Lisa, for lunch at Longhorn, which was delicious. Um, had me some Parmesan-crusted chicken, which is yum. I love me some chicken. And then I went back to my mom's office and played Rummy Cube with some co-workers for a little bit. Not Rummy Cube, uh, Phase 10 before I went to the eye doctor. And for some reason, while I was getting my examination, everything's okay and still they, start, they started putting drops in my eyes like to measure pressure and of course dilate them. For some reason, right when they were putting drops in my eyes, I suddenly, like that, was having a panic attack. Like I couldn't breathe, I was going like, like really shallow breaths, hard to breathe, clenching my teeth really hard. I don't know why, but that lasted for the entire time there. And then of course drove home. So this is what it's been right now. Hello. Hello little baby. Hello bigger baby. Hey, eh, 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 eh. Can you guys wait until I'm done with the vlog? No. Um, but an interesting thing happened today. So while playing uh, Phase 10 with my mom's co-workers, one of them talked about how she is being put on new medication and just curious i'd asked what for she said for anxiety and i was like oh hey i'm on prozac and buspar <coughs> hey so she asked me because she had a massive anxiety attack which is why she was put on it my bobby pin fell out of my hair and i had to fix it anyway um she asked what are anxiety attacks like for me which is always hey, excuse you hello and hello, you got your reindeer. It doesn't squeak anymore because you ripped a hole in it with your mouth. Um, hi buddy. So she asked me what anxiety attacks are like for me, which when people ask me that, I'm not always sure how to respond because it really just depends. 
Um, so I explained that, like, you know, they vary. They could be good, which means, you know, I can handle it. Or really bad to where I can't do anything. I'm almost incapacitated. Um, so the panic attack I had at the eye doctor is what I consider my normal. Just tight chest, can't breathe, um, thoughts going everywhere. Maybe a slight bit above normal. It felt a little more intense. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Is there something you'd like to say? You're very handsome. Especially in this light. boy um and then at the worst i've had dizziness i've had near passing out laying in bed can't move why are you sniffing my arm you're so weird so it just depends and of course she was saying that she was worried about side effects which i flat out told her you know when you first start taking anxiety meds and this is important for you guys too who are about to start anxiety meds or are on them you will have side effects for the first few weeks. You're going to have dizziness. That's usually a big one. You're going to feel lightheaded. You may feel fatigued. Those are normal and usually go away in about a couple weeks. Um, so, it's only if you get like even weirder side effects that you should go and check with your doctor. Like, for example, when I was on Klonopin, um... I didn't have the normal side effects, which is great, but I got severe depressive episodes and even suicidal thoughts, which is not normal for me. So I was like, uh, no. <laughs> and of course, different drugs will affect people differently. Some people, like, where clonopin didn't work for me, for some other people, clonopin works great. So, it really just depends. But I also told my mom's co-workers like besides about my experience with anxiety and with meds why I have MRL because I told them I'm like you know because we were all talking about like how some people just learn to manage it or get over it because it's a mental thing which yes it is partly mental but I was like you know I'm medicated I've gone to therapy and I've told them the reason I have MRL is to train him to be my anxiety service dog <gasps> MRL what are you doing hey puppy I love you. So, I'm doing everything that I can for my anxiety. But, it was a nice conversation. It wasn't bad. Sometimes, I guess depending on who I'm with, I get nervous about these conversations. But it really wasn't bad at all. So, now I'm probably just going to chill out, watch some YouTube videos from afar. I have to hold the, camp the phone out far away from me because I can't really see close up. And I'll work on the vlog once my eyes are a little more adjusted. Excuse you! road and I'll check back in with you later hey guys so right now well let's see I had game night with mom and one of her co-workers which was really fun um after a while I ended up leaving had a really bad headache because my eyes were still dilated <sighs> now I'm getting the vlog uploaded and I'm playing the game of how long can I stay awake because I've taken my Ambien and I'm just so tired um, so, interesting thing happened. While talking with mom's best friend, basically, um, it was along the lines of anxiety. Basically them saying that, you know, you're going to get over your anxiety one day. And, oh, my brother had worse anxiety than you and he was fine. And, you know, one day you won't need your service dog, period. And... I just, I was just like, what? Of course, I can't argue back with them because they're not going to listen otherwise. But it's like, you have no idea what my anxiety is. You have no idea what it's like for me. And you have no idea how important it's going to be for MRL to be a part of my recovery. Um, my mom even made the comment that I am treating my anxiety like it's a life sentence. Even though, technically it is. It's a chronic illness. Just like Lyme disease is a chronic illness, or rheumatoid arthritis, or whatever. Mental illnesses are chronic illnesses. But apparently we could get over those very quickly. Um, and it's just irritating to me. That 
you know, in a world where we're trying to progress and move forward, there's still so much ignorance and stigma revolving around mental illness. It's just crazy. So now, before I get completely tired, I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Um, question of the day, let's see. I've got my dogs here. Whether you know anything about my dogs or not, in one word, describe each of my dogs. One word to describe Sassy. One word to describe Riddler. One to describe MRL. And we'll see if those comments are pretty close to what they really are. So, put your guesses down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Good night, guys! Stretch!